trouble, Barrett. Hey, since when is surviving being attacked causing trouble? Isn't that just fighting back? Hey, pilot, could you move your arm a little bit to the left? I can't make out the console. Don't move! He's trying to figure out our destination, probably transmitting this conversation right now while we're still in orbit. Well, yeah. Thought I was making that pretty obvious. Okay, okay, put the gun down. I'm done. See? My retinas are pointing away from the console and towards this lovely view of space we have out the window. Time up. Once we get back to the base, the fun starts. No certainty to the universe at all. Once you really start getting out there, the laws of physics kind of turn into suggestions. You're pulling my leg again, right? It's the weirdest thing you've seen. Holy shit. You actually found me. Of course Barrett isn't in any danger. Why am I not surprised? And Lynn's here? Will wonders never cease? You know, it's actually been kind of nice. Matsura the Grim here is a great host. No sense letting people's last moments be unpleasant. See, that's what I like about you, Matsura. Real renaissance man. I have enjoyed our time together, Barrett. But I can't just let you go with nothing to show for it. Is Constellation willing to pay ransom in exchange for this man's freedom?
You want me to end all this with nothing to show for it? A ransom isn't about how much one gets along with the hostage. I'm afraid that's not an option. Enough! I must insist on payment for Barrett's release. I'm afraid your pockets are a little light. But neither of us are going anywhere. We'll wait while you show up your finances. Paying the ransom for Barrett? Well, I wouldn't mind if you could talk Matsura into letting me go. Ah. I had heard some rumors among the captains that we had a new hotshot. Very well. As a favor to the fleet, I'll let Barrett go. From the hands of one crimson fleet pirate to yet another. And this time, the pirate is in Constellation. Wonders never cease. Some of us were. I see what you did there, Walter. And I know you've been secretly crying into your piles of money just waiting for my return. Actually, Walter has been complaining about you more than usual, which is always a sign he's worried. Don't start, country. Wait, is that? <laughs> and to think the first artifact was taking up dust on the library show. Now, look at them all. You feel it a bit, can't you? Ever since I found the second one, had the visions. Being around them is just... comforting. So hey, I I'm still not a hundred percent, plus I feel guilty dragging you into all of this. Why don't I stick around, help you get adjusted to the weird corners of the universe? Marvelous. That's why. If you have a moment, I have something I'd like to discuss. I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. I'm sure we have room for you on the ship, Walter. Might be cramped compared to what you're used to, but it'll get you there. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. Keeping me waiting? Hmm. New. No. Very well. Let me know.
Are you ready to set off? To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. I have something for you. Nah. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of castle mass. A native species of fish. I often wonder what would have happened if they'd never found out about the psychotropic effects. I mean, on paper, a rich protein source has far more practical value than a recreational drug. But theory loses out once again to practice. Something to do with Kazimbass's natural oils, apparently. If you're curious, the name is Aurora. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred even for something like this. Some kind of checkpoint ahead. Let's let them do their job so we can move along. See that huge shield? It's part of the power system. Lightning provides a substantial amount of Neon's energy. on Saburo Akadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo. Benjamin Bayou's tower. It's big, all right. Not sure what else it is, but it's big. The Astro Lounge spared no expense with their marketing, huh? Art of the future. This is where quality ships are made. 
And I don't just say that because it's Stroud's business. It's, it's just right. true. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? Sebastian Banks. His final address before he disappeared. I merely found a group of like-minded individuals, just like all of us. I hope you're planning to get adorable figurines made of us all. Please say yes. Can we move on? Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar was motivating them. Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers. Alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. I have something for you. I would have loved to hang around here as a kid. 
now I realize how dangerous Package that could be. Check. Neuro amps? Hey there. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Feel like making a purchase today? Sure. Have a look. Tell everyone you know about our store. What? If you have a moment, say hello to my wife, Rosa. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Aren't you? 
Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Then what are we waiting for? Let's set you up. Here, we'll take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. A loss leader. I make you pay less now in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you are still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Hope to see you again. <clears throat> Looking for supplies, this is the place. Let me know if we can make a deal. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Day, 
another shift. Don't go causing trouble. me to be a doctor. can bypass this system security. I want this. I missed you too. You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. Stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation, just in case. Good luck, all of you. something for you. To cause any trouble, and I'll drag you straight to lock.
Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Trevor. Are they? <laughs> I was really hoping for a message written in invisible ink, but this will have to suffice. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days. Yes? What's so important that you need to interrupt my busy schedule? Not that it's any of your business, but yes. I'm the administrator of Neon. Actually. There are a lot of perks that come with the job. But do you want to know my favorite? One snap of my finger and people who ask too many questions get thrown off of the upper platform. <laughs> I love that one. I wouldn't normally bother with idle chatter, but that's such a ridiculous question. I'm going to gift you with a response. I don't own Neon. Neon is the property of Xenofresh Fisheries, of which I just happen to be the CEO and the major majority stakeholder. Now, if you'd care to take a moment to dissect that statement in your tiny little mind, I'm confident you'll discover the answer to your question. We're done here. 